they've got razor sharp teeth, armor like scales, and can grow over three meters long. This monstrous fish looks like it could star in a creature feature. Honestly, it's hard to believe it hasn't. What with its bone structure? Meet the monstrous alligator gar. This torpedo-shaped leviathan is one of North America's largest freshwater fish. Just take one look at its long, snapping mouth filled with jagged teeth, and it's easy to see why this fish has alligator in its name. Although it's not a reptile. But regardless of their fearsome appearance, these ancient fish may be one of the most interesting and craziest creatures out there. So how far do they date back? Do they threaten humans? And why should you not eat their eggs? These river monsters can weigh over 159 kilograms. That's about the weight of a refrigerator. Imagine trying to reel one in. Yikes. The alligator gar is one of seven types of gar. They're characterized by their snout length, the number of rows of teeth, and the amount and location of spots that decorate their scales when they're young. The alligator gar has a longer, wider snout with two rows of razor-sharp teeth in its upper jaw. The inner row of teeth is longer than the outer row. Another unique attribute is this fish's ability to breathe out of water. A duct connects its swim bladder to its gut, so this fish can suck air from the surface and thrive in water that's low in oxygen. The gar family of fish lives throughout North and Central America and Cuba. Alligator gar are usually seen throughout the lower Mississippi River Valley, which borders Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Texas. Unfortunately, their range is shrinking as sightings have become rarer in the Oklahoma region. Now they're only found in small clusters in specific locations further south. Typically thriving in brackish waters, they're known for their diverse diets. They usually feed on blue crabs and catfish, but they also eat waterfowl, turtles, and carrion. Much to the dismay of duck hunters, alligator gar will often swoop on injured waterfowl before the hunters can collect them. I knew it, foul play. While it is a sought-after trophy fish, with the largest ever caught via rod and reel weighing in at about 127 kilograms, these fish were once much more than a trophy to early American settlers. Due to the scale's thick enamel-like density, early American communities used alligator gar scales as arrow points and covered their plow blades with them. But their story dates back to way before human feet even touched American soil. While much of the alligator gar's evolutionary history remains a mystery, fossil records trace this monstrous creature's origins back over 100 million years ago, during the early Cretaceous period. These fish existed during the time of the dinosaurs, when monstrous creatures reigned supreme. Ancestors of the alligator gar have been found in fossil deposits from 215 million years ago. Despite being a living relic of natural history and a source of food and material for early American settlers, they were considered a trash fish and cult. They often eat what hunters and anglers perceive as higher quality fish, and they were believed to destroy fishing nets with their razor sharp teeth and massive size. This led to a decline in their population due to overfishing. They've become endangered in Arkansas and Kentucky and will soon be classified as endangered in Tennessee. Luckily, the alligator gar's reputation as a trash fish has turned around. And though they're still hunted as trophy fish, they are a protected species in many regions. They've even been reintroduced to some U.S. states where they had disappeared. And while the alligator gar is the biggest apex predator in the Mississippi River, they pose no dangers to humans, even with those two terrifying rows of teeth. However, they do have one trick up their sleeve. Humans used to eat alligator gar meat, but their eggs are poisonous when eaten by animals or people. So if you ever come across some alligator gar caviar, just stick with sturgeon roe instead. Being gigantic and having toxic eggs is what alligator guard do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.